Hello, just a uh, quick video today. I'm going to show you how to copy and paste using the terminal. So um, on my left here, I have a terminal running on Kali Linux, and I have a text editor here with nothing in it. And down here, I have um, a text file open in Documents um, Clipboard uh, directory. So um, if I double click on that, and in my text file, it says I like cheese. Now. Our usual process for doing this would be to select it and then either right click and copy or control C and then go into our uh, our text um, file and then right click and then paste or control V and that will copy and paste which is what we're all used to but what if we want to use the terminal to do something similar now first thing you need to do is install a bit of software called xclip so on Kali, Ubuntu, and any uh, Debian-based Linux, the command would be sudo apt get install its clip, and that will install it. Now, I've already got it here, so it hasn't asked me for any confirmation or anything, because it's already there. But if you haven't got it installed, it will ask you to confirm you want to install it, and you just have to press Y, and then press Enter, and then it will install so we have xclip installed so now we click now the terminal I'm running is running in the documents clipboard directory so if I put ls to list the files there's my file my text file if I type in cat and then my file and that will um, display the text that's in the file so there we go I like cheese now to um, copy and paste using the terminal we have to use what's called piping so um, what it is is we use our cat my file again but instead we um, use what's called a pipe so there's the pipe um, symbol it's um, if you look at the bottom left of your keyboard it's next to the left shift so it should be the uh, backslash um, key with um, like an well like uh, the upwards line pipe um, symbol on it is it's usually next to the Z so shift and that key should give you the pipe so now we've got that we need to pipe that into xclip and tell it to put it in the clipboard so we type xclip dash sel for selection and then clip for clipboard then enter now if I go over to here and press paste I like cheese there we go but say we wanted something else in so I'm just going to use an echo command now to show you that it's not just left over from our last copy and paste echo I really like Jews now that will just echo will just echo the command back to you so there you go you you're just echo in the string that you just typed in so if I do that and then we'll pipe this into xclip so xclip dash SEL and then clip to tell it to put it in the clipboard enter and then we go over here again and paste I really like cheese and that's how you use the uh, the terminal to copy and paste now you may be asking why I've put in this um, cell clip well the reason behind that is there's actually more than one um, clipboard there's actually a primary a secondary and the, the usual clipboard and um, if you um, right click in the terminal you can actually see one of them here so there's, it says here paste clipboard and paste selection selection actually uses the primary clipboard it doesn't use the um, the normal clipboard so um, if I use our command again and I'm just going to type in this is the selection board primary and then we get rid of the um, the, sl the dash SEL and then clip and we're just giving it to xclip because xclip uses the primary uh, clipboard as its default scene so we are echoing this is the selection clipboard slash primary into xclip and that's going to go into the selection so now if I uh, paste selection this is the selection clipboard and if I paste clipboard I really like cheese so for the most part all you'll need if I clear that up 
all you'll need is the uh, xclip dash sel and then clip and that will get you what you need for your usual copy and pasting the the primary and secondary clipboards you don't really need to uh, know if you want to read more into it you can actually look at the manual page for xclip so for all programs in Linux there's a manual page you just type in man and then the program that you want to look at and this will give you all your options about the, uh, the program in question so you've got all the different flags we can give it so see here the dash selection you can just uh, shorten it to dash SEL I think you can actually use the first letter with a lot of these um, options so yeah options are primary to use the primary there's also the secondary and then clipboard for the um, usual clipboard that we used to and uh, it doesn't say the abbreviations there but if you look down da, 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 there is somewhere there we go note that only the first character of the selection specified with the selection option is important this means that the P sec and clip would have the same effect so that's the nitty gritty of xclip I just like to give you that little bit of extra information to help you but any copy and paste in just pipe it into xclip and remember to give it the um, the clip selection parameter and then you're good to go so I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video uh, don't forget to like it subscribe and I shall catch you next time take care